if you watched my live stream, I was talking about the truck. It sounded like a timing chain slap, but I had to check it out first thoroughly. This is why you should always check something out first thoroughly, okay? I'll show you why. Now you gotta listen real close, but you're gonna hear this. Right there, that noise. If it goes away. It goes away there, but here it's coming back. Now, let me show you something here. Now we're going to make it make that sound again. You hear it? Now it's gone away. Now it's gone away. This is loose. That's rattling. So that's why you should always check things out first, real good, before you go putting a bunch of money in these things. Now, <laughs> she's got her headphones in, jamming. <laughs> I caught about timing chain and gears. Just the timing chain and gears <clears throat> was uh, one place was uh, uh, it was O'Reilly's was a hundred and eighty or hundred and eighty nine dollars just for the two gears and the chain. Uh, I think you got the tensioners too, the side pieces. This door overhead cam, but it runs on one chain. And there's two side pieces. Keep the slap the slop out of the chain. Uh, I called Auto Boners. They wanted two hundred and twelve dollars. And that was without the tensioners. Just the the chain and two gears. Uh, I went online and for $51 I could have got the timing chain, both gears, both the, the uh, tensioners, um, the gaskets, a water pump, and a water pump gasket for 51 bucks. Or without the water pump, water pump gasket, it was going to be like $41. So look around guys if you can wait. Um, but we got lucky. You know, that's just something that came loose over... Um, I think it's got 493,000 on it. Get the right key in here and I'll show you what it's got. Almost a half a million miles. There it is. 493,267 miles on this truck. So this is just kind of uh, kind of an update for those of you that watched the live stream last night. Um, <laughs> uh, but uh, just always and always always check everything. Um, I was hoping it wasn't, but it sure sounded like a timing chain slap because it only did it on acceleration. So and sometimes they only do them on. Uh, deceleration when you let off the gas you'll hear them brrr. but I've also heard alternator brackets make that noise like sometimes they'll crack over vibrations and they'll get that noise so I was hoping it was something like that and it kind of was so I don't know if that brackets broke but I'm just going to go ahead and tighten it up I know what it takes these things I believe they're like 10 millimeters a couple bolts it could have one missing it feels pretty loose so I'm going to have to dig around see if I can find a bolt. But that's, that's not really a how-to video. But it's it's a video on always check, you know, um, everything thoroughly. 
and it would have been so easy for her to take this to a mechanic and there's not many mechanics that that wouldn't agreed and said yeah sure sounds like a timing chain well they would have just went ahead and ripped into it put a new timing chain on it still had the same noise and then found out well we just needed to put a bolt in it they would have put a bolt in it and, and still charged her uh, it's sad but that's the way a lot of them work sometimes they would find the issue and go good we don't have to do the timing chain but we're going to charge her for it so anyway guys there you go but i've been running um 40 weight in the winter and 50 weight in the summer oil in this thing so you know to keep the parts lube good and everything um so we got lucky uh so i'm gonna get off here i just want to say thanks for watching that's why there's no intro or anything just a quick upload to to tell you you hear a noise like that always check and make sure if you don't know much about it call a friend or family member or loved one and say listen can you give me a hand uh you know i got this funny noise let's see if we can find it and go from there this one was easy i kind of knew where to look i also had my um my stethoscope out here I don't know if you guys seen this or not. This helps out. This comes in handy. It's a stethoscope. Kind of, just kind of like a doctor's stethoscope, but it's got this end on it. And you put this on the engine. Just like, you know, just touch it on the engine somewhere there. And you'll hear, you'll hear a noise very clearly. So, uh, I, I didn't have to use that because I heard it immediately. Uh, when I revved it up, I heard it was coming from the middle of the engine and not the front of the engine. So that was pretty good. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for, I've got an upcoming video on a giveaway I'm going to be doing. I may do that on a live stream, but I'm going to talk to you guys about that here soon. So anyway, again, thanks for watching. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. The monkey's still jamming. <laughs> we'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye now. Cool.